Hello everyone and welcome to Nightmare Culture. Today I wanted to discuss Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game versus Friday 13th the game. I've been playing a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre as you can tell just the last couple of videos I have on my channel and I really wanted to compare the two. Now of course comparing the two we need to start off with talking about gun media. Gun media's project with Friday 13th I think was something that was incredible what they did and all the details they went into that game but they had a rocky start and a really really rough finish. I think they were able to really hone in on their craft when it came to Layers of Fear 2 and I think they took that into Tex Chainsaw Massacre and I think came out with one of the better asymmetrical horror games as of right now. So how do we compare these two? Well, first off, let's talk about the iconic killers. So we have in Friday 13th, you have Jason Voorhees. That's it, right? You have different versions of Jason. And yes, Jason being one of my favorites because I grew up playing the game. But you also had uh, the Savini Jason, Part A, Part 6. Just it goes on. We were supposed to get more, but that didn't happen. That's another story. Now, when it comes to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you have multiple killers, which is something that's unique and different compared to, honestly, a lot of asymmetrical horror games. Where Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 3v4 asymmetrical horror game, so you have three killers always on each uh, map versus four victims. When it comes to killers, you have the cook, sissy, the hitchhiker, Johnny, and Leatherface. So you have a array of killers to choose from. Being able to select so many different killers, I think, gives the advantage to Tex Chainsaw Massacre in that aspect. But when it comes to my own biased opinion, I love Jason Voorhees. Grew up watching the films. So I love that detail they put just into Jason Voorhees. Uh, but then again, when it comes to the films, he is the killer besides part one where it's his mother. Whereas Tex Chainsaw Massacre is the entire family. So it just makes more sense. Now when it comes to victims which is better or comparing the two i think the victims in text chainsaw massacre are really unique uh each one has these cool little attributes they can do it's not so much compared to friday 13th where you had who had the best speed uh who could repair cars quicker uh, there is a little bit of aspect in that in text chainsaw massacre but to me it's not it's not what makes you choose the character i think for me it's their attributes or their abilities uh, Sunny's one of my favorites just because I can kind of see where people are around the map and that helps me out a lot especially when I'm trying to dig through and find a uh, lock pick and things of that nature. What I do like about Fighter 13th was the ability to choose so many different characters because he has so many different counselors uh, and each of them obviously fit off the the films and they had your own unique kind of almost humor style to them because they really embodied the 80s feel of those slasher flicks of the 80s so when it comes to i guess victims and counselors i would probably for me go with friday 13th i just felt like it was more fun to choose different ones their, their funny outfits that they came that they came out with later on their halloween outfits <laughs> their facial animations were hilarious uh, i think it's more for me a little bit of a nostalgia feeling as well uh, but I would have to say the victims or counselors goes to Friday 13th. Now when it comes to escaping, Tex Chainsaw Massacre is it's a hit or miss really because sometimes in a match you can escape within two minutes or less. I, I've escaped sometimes immediately. I, I get out of the basement. Uh, I go straight out of the slaughterhouse. I think slaughterhouse for me is the easiest one to escape from. I get a couple pick locks and I'm out. I think that can sometimes be a little lackluster compared to Friday 13th. Whereas Friday 13th, you're not going to escape right away. Like there's certain tasks you had to do to complete uh, before escaping. I mean, yeah, you could probably get the fuse and then call the cops and, and you know, but still you're waiting around. There's no way you were going to escape in Friday 13th within two minutes. I think there was also a lot more to do with Friday 13th because you had to get the gas for the boat, the keys the battery for the car, the gas for the car, the keys for the car. You could obviously find Jason's shack, make sure you radio in Tommy and could have a chance to kill Jason. There, there was a lot more to do in that aspect of escaping or even finishing the game. 
Whereas Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, there's there's some extra ways to escape. I think they're a little harder. I think that's what makes it, like I said at the beginning, a little more addictive. Because the difficult left level in some escapes can be hard. It's it's a challenge. You want to kind of keep pushing yourself. It's where you can do it a little easier. So as of right now for escapes... I'm going to have to say Friday 13th again wins at this category. Now, that's not saying Texas Chainsaw Massacre is horrible at it. I think, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre definitely pushes your abilities because, like I said, sometimes it can be really easy to escape and sometimes it's really, really hard to escape and you really got to kind of work your butt off. Whereas in Friday 13th, you kind of could have a lot of fun with it. I think in a difficulty setting, Texas Chainsaw Massacre oh can win at that category, but overall, I'm going to get still give it to Friday 13th. Now, when it comes to fighting back, that's a category I wanted to add in here because in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you can fight back by getting bone scrap and you got to sneak up on them and get a quick little stab. Honestly, I have, I've never done it myself. So if you see clips in here, there'll probably be someone else's. I just, I've never been able to do it and I, I've never really had any interest of doing it because I'm more of just trying to escape, making sure no one sees me. Whereas in Friday 13th, I think the ability to fight back was so much fun, right? If you got the shotgun, you got the bat, you got the, the machete, the firecrackers. Obviously, you could kill Jason. Uh, there was such a huge fun factor in the fighting back. In fact, it made you kind of work as a team if you wanted to kill Jason. You had to have a certain amount of players do a certain amount of things, and it worked. That's not to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre is still not fun, because the fact that you can't fight back kind of makes it a little more intense. And it gives it a little bit of a, a fear factor. Uh, you you realize you don't really have a chance at all to kill any of the killers. I would say fun-wise, Friday 13th wins in that category. But if we're going strictly on asymmetrical horror and how intensified it is, I think being able to not fight back makes it more intimidating to be a victim. So I'm actually going to give it to Texas Chainsaw Massacre on this one. So now we get to the very end. Which one is overall just better? I think Gun Media has done an incredible job with asymmetrical horror games, at least the two they've done. They put a lot of detail into these iconic horror killers, whatever you want to call them. Whereas games like Dead by Daylight, while it's a cult following, I feel like it's, it's definitely done its great things, just does not compare to these two. I think Gun Media has a big future in asymmetrical horror, and I don't want them to stop. I'd love to see something like uh, maybe A Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy. Uh, you could do a Scream with Ghostface. I mean, the it's endless on what they could do. So which one is better? Well, I'm going to try to take as much bias as I can out of it, because for me, as a horror film lover, I've always loved the Friday 13th franchise a lot more than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Just never was my favorite, even though I'm from Texas. I'm trying to take that out and just think, so I'm taking out that bias and just thinking asymmetrical horror and how well gun media is done. I think in some of the fun factors, they've taken a step back, backwards, I would say, but in the ability to make it more intense, uh, to make it more of a, a challenge of an asymmetrical horror game, I definitely think they took a bunch of leaps forward. So for that reason, I'm going to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the better of the two. Uh, but when it comes down to fun factor, which one I had the fondest memories with, which one I think really broke the mold for asymmetrical horror games, it's going to be Friday 13th. Uh, but again, I think just because of how well Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, um, it didn't have tons of issues. It's It can be... Not really. I, want, I don't want to say scary at times, but like I said, very intimidating and uh, does bring somewhat of a fear factor that Friday 13th never brought. I'm going to say that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the winner of this. Uh, again, comparing the two is hard because Gamutas had so much time to perfect their craft. Uh, but I want to know from you guys, which one do you think is better? And also, which one have you had more fun with? Because I know for me, it's definitely Friday 13th. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.